Thank you for that, Tim Surratt. That's your live look at the E3 2010 show floor here in Los Angeles. My name is Brian Eckberg, and I am joined by so much glitter, so much glamour on this stage. I'm surprised you guys can even see it because we got two champions on this stage, and we got Corey Ledesma. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You don't know Corey. You don't know Corey. This is the king. This, this is the, the king, king of, E3. of E3. That's right. This, I've never seen someone more popular than me. I mean, this guy. Everyone's hugging him, kissing him on the cheeks. Oh my God, it's Corey. Corey's here. The king of E3, people. Corey has made it. The, he, yes. He's in his element. So let's, let's do the, 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 the rest of the introductions. We got The Miz here, and we got Eve Torres, WWE superstars here on our stage. If you've been watching GameSpot, you've seen these guys before in our program before. They were here last year to announce the roster of the last SmackDown vs. Raw game. But today, we're talking about WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2011. It's the next game in the long-running wrestling series. It's coming soon. Guys, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. It's nice to see you all. Uh, tell me, before, before we get into the game, championships abound. Last time we were here, we didn't. I, I certainly didn't have this uh, Divas Champion. That's right. Now for a little over two months, and I'm very proud to uh, have it here today and to uh, to hold it high, yeah. and defend it on uh, Sunday. I don't know if you uh, saw yesterday on Monday Night Raw, but I was in a fatal four-way match where I retained. Well, actually, I didn't retain. Well, I had the United States title, then I lost it because right. of Bret Hart who you're getting emails about, which I don't know why you people are emailing a brother head hard when The Miz is here. But the fact is, I got my United States title back and I brought it to E3 just to show it off to say, you know what, Truth, you're not that good. I'm the title holder now. Booyah. I was kind of hoping that Corey would have had his belt that's holding his jeans up to sit right by it. He's the king. He's the king of E3. He needs a crown. He needs something. That's right. All right. Well, Corey. he's already starting to try to steal my haircut. I mean, now he's you know he's trying to do everything right. We got plenty of time to make fun of Corey. Let's talk about this game. Corey Ledesma, SmackDown vs Raw 2011 coming soon. Uh, we, you and I shared a stage not long ago talking about this game, but let's 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 break it down. Uh, it's coming soon. What are you guys talking about so far? You know, really, with this year's game, it's all about defining your own moments. And uh, we have all these situations in the game where you're able to define your own moment. Whether it's in our new physics in the TLC match, whether it's in our great road to WrestleMania stories, uh, online, uh, we have all these opportunities when you're creating your characters, opportunities to define your moment. That's really what this year's game is about. Uh, you know, The Miz has great moments, Eve has great moments. It's all about moments. We want the consumer to be able to define their great moment. And there's no bigger moment than a TLC match in a WWE ring. So uh, that's, that's one of the first things you're talking about, right? That's right. We have the new dynamic physics working in the uh, TLC match. So now the match is unpredictable. Uh, it's got a lot of great new gameplay elements as far as being able to break uh, tables, interact with the ladders, the chairs. Uh, all the objects have physics working with it. Um, so you'll be able to break tables in a lot of different ways. We talked about this last week. Yeah. Um, really exciting stuff. We saw from the community that all the fans were really excited oh, to see this in the game. How good I look. And look at the mix. Look at those, look at those, abs. those abs are perfect. I mean, these guys really went for realistic stuff because that is exactly what my abs look like. Sometimes I think I'm a little bit more cut, but uh, you know, I think they did it okay. I think there's more oil this year too. More oil in 2011. Are you happy with your abs, Eve? You don't have to see my abs yet, but I'm sure they're amazing. I'm sure they're fun. I'm sure there's no problem there. And breaking news is that the Miz actually uh, his ratings are higher than Beth Phoenix this year. So that's a big announcement. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about what, that. What, Last year, we had you on this stage, or, or yeah, we're, we're, during the roster reveal, you were on this stage, and you were not happy. Oh, I was, are you kidding me? I had a 78. Gail Kim was stronger than me. Beth Phoenix was stronger than me. Women, divas, were stronger than me. I had people tweeting me and texting me and telling me, Mike, why, why, why are you at a 78? And I asked, and I asked Corey, and he goes, ooh, ooh, 78. But this year, this year, I made sure. I'm powerful. I'm coming back with benches. I got the new attire. I look good. I feel good. I better be the person to reckon with in SmackDown versus Raw 2011. I got to tell you, I want that best and tie combination in the creative character. And we'll have to make sure it's alternate costumes there. Yeah. That's what it actually is. Better be, Corey. You think you're the king here? You step in the ring with me, you're not going to be long to be the king. He'd be crazy to do that. He'd be 78 hurt. again. He'd be the 78. The All right, let, let, so, so, so these objects in the ring are physical objects this year. What does that mean for gameplay? I mean, really, it, it takes it to a whole new level. Things are completely unpredictable. You don't see the same sequences each time. Basically, each time you hop in a match, things are going to unfold differently. And it really lets you create your own moments, save these great highlight reel moments, and uh, post them online, share with the community. Absolutely. Uh, so in terms of control, 
Did, did, did this change the TLC match require new controls? We adjusted the controls a little bit to uh, support the new weapons, make it easy to uh, put opponents through tables. This year you actually can target and move your opponent mid-air to target a table to slam them through. So a lot of new functionality in there. It makes it a little bit easier to uh, operate the game and to uh, put your uh, opponent through these tables and climb the ladder and so forth. On a side note, when I was playing over in our, our THQ lounge, uh, I was playing up against one of uh, Corey's guys, and I actually defeated him. So I am 1-0 on SmackDown vs. Raw 2011, and I plan on staying undefeated the entire year. Nobody's going to be able to take me. Nobody. You can stay at 1-0 and, and never play it again, and then you're undefeated. You know who I am? I'm a fighting champion. I'm a fighter. I go out in style, and I will beat everybody. And if anyone starts beating me, I'll just press the power button. Bam. I'm undefeated. To prevent defeat. Eve, have you, have you had a chance to play it? I had a chance today for the first time okay. to play SmackDown vs. Raw 2011. And every year I'm like wondering how it can get better than, than the year before. Right. And somehow they always manage to do it. So, I, uh, yeah, it's my first time doing a table, ladders, and chairs match, which okay. is awesome. Brian kind of showed me the ropes. He's like, knows, he might even know more than Corey. Uh, so he gave me my intro class, and I think I did pretty well. Eve, uh, why don't you tell him uh, who you chose as a superstar? Uh, actually, I chose The Undertaker. That suplex was yeah. a picture. I think it was a good choice. Yeah. Uh, still didn't win, but you that's didn't okay. To, you I... didn't choose me? No. You know, your favorite Dude. WWE superstar? You didn't choose favorite. me? Excuse me? Another skull? Yeah. I'm a favorite. She I've was telling it. me that before. I believe it. I believe it. Yeah. Uh, but there are four superstars to choose from, correct? In, in this demo. We have four superstars. We have Chris Jericho, The Miz, Undertaker, Randy Orton, all big names. But why would you choose anyone else, man? Why would you choose I don't get I it. I agree. I don't know what he was thinking. Why not just thinking. have Miz versus Miz? I agree. I mean, that, that is the total combination right there. It brings up a philosophical... Way, getting beat up, so that'd be great. I don't get beat up. I beat people up, hence the title. The title. I, I won yesterday. It brings, I'm the big winner. It brings up a philosophical question. Who would win in a fight between The Miz and The Miz? That's a tough question. Yeah. Maybe the king can answer it. I don't know. I don't know. You are the king of E3. I don't know. I think people have to pick up the game, check it out, and, uh, and have that matchup and see what happens. Absolutely. All right, we see Jericho. He's, he's in for some trouble. That's some of the new functionality you do with the chairs. Yeah. Uh, we had some of those moves in last year. We added some new ones. You can also throw the chair. Um, we're wedging the chair in the turnbuckle there. You can go ahead and Irish whip him into that. He goes flying through it. Uh, really, you know, the TLC match on WWE programming is crazy. Yeah. We want to create that crazy atmosphere in our game and have oh a lot God. of fun with that. That looks like it. So, Miz, you've obviously been around in the business a while. Tell us, from your point of view, what an actual TLC match is like compared to what you see here in the game. Right, in this game, they did a tremendous job of creating everything, all the elements that go involved with it and how hard it is. But what you don't, like, the best part about playing this video game is you don't have to endure the pain right. that we go through. Right. I mean, going through a table there, it's just, it's crazy pain. It's like getting hit with a chair. You can get hit with a chair, and it doesn't just hurt the part that you get hit with the chair with. It hurts throughout the entire body. Right. Right. So it's pretty incredible. It hurts. Just play the video game. Don't try it at home, okay? Yeah, please. You know, please, play please. the video game. Don't do that stuff at home. Exactly. And uh, speaking of tables, these tables all break in different in different ways, right? No, no two are the same, it seems. That's right. That's, that's some of the unpredictable nature that takes place in the uh, match. You want to make sure that uh, you don't see the same table break every single time. That's really lame. You don't want to see that. Uh, the table pieces will actually linger in the ring for a while, so you can see your mayhem. Um, and you know, last time we we spoke, I said you can bring up to six tables in the ring. Actually, it's only four tables. Four tables in the rings, okay. um, and then two ladders as well. So there'll be a lot of objects to interact with, and a lot of fun. I've been keeping an eye on the uh, the email here. Do you guys mind taking some questions from some fans? All right, I have one specifically for you, Ms. Uh, this is from Nathan Baby. I don't know if that's a real name or not. Nathan Baby from Bristol, England. He wants to know, in your opinion, who's the better dancer, you or Vladimir Kozlov? Oh wow, that is that is tough. You know, I mean, Vladimir really pulled it out um, there when he went against Santino. I've never seen Santino actually get out-entertained by anybody in the ring. <laughs> yeah. And then Vladimir comes off and does something like that. I mean, I don't think I would want to go at Vladimir Kozlov in a dance-off. Yeah. That's one thing. I mean, a United States title match, okay. Yeah. Dance-off, no way. Yeah. Right. Done. Know your strengths. Know your strengths. Uh, so... We have uh, lots of people asking about create a character, create a wrestler. I I'm assuming that's back. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Creation Suite is uh, probably our most popular area of the game. 
Uh, we make sure you can do everything, create your own superstar, your own story, your own finishing moves. That's all bad. We have a bunch of improvements. We're not talking about them yet for E3. We're only talking about the physics and TLC. But uh, come SummerSlam, we're going to have a full rollout of all our new features this year. There'll be a lot of talk about it. Creation Suite was definitely hit up on. Well, one other thing, Miz, uh, we, we, we sort of teased the fact that you, you have a new rating this year. But I think, Corey, we can, we can reveal the actual number, right? Uh, actually, I still have the power to change things. So we'll see. We'll watch Mrs. Behavior for the rest of the show. We'll decide what a score is afterwards. And uh, maybe, maybe some money will change hands. Hopefully, the Miz makes big bucks, you know. Corey's going to get a skull crushing finale on there. We're going to have a tables, ladders, and chairs match right here. That would be great. That's what I'm talking about. That's absolutely. I got the chair. All right, guys. Well, look, SmackDown vs. Raw 2011 coming soon, right? October 26th. October 26th. Look forward to it. Ms. Eve, thank you so much for being here. Always enjoy, a pleasure being here. Enjoy your E3. Great seeing you guys, and we'll see more of uh, SmackDown vs. Raw 2011 coming very soon.